Welcome back to Zone for Geeks. My name is Casey, and today I'm going to show you how to monitor any network device using a network monitoring tool like Zabbix. Now, Zabbix has an installable agent that we can put on Windows, Mac, or Linux, and that's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and install this on my Windows 11 machine. It's a standard workstation, not a server, and the installation is pretty straightforward. I will also have a link in the description for the downloads. We're going to accept all of the defaults, except we're going to change the IP address to the IP address of our Zabbix server. Now that we have our agent installed, it's time to add it to our Zabbix server. To do this, we're going to go over under, under Data Collection, Hosts, and then Create Host. Give it a name and a template. For our Windows, it's going to be under Operating Systems, Windows by Zabbix Agent. I'm going to give it a host group, in this case just Virtual Machine, and then click on Add. Our IP address will be the IP address of our workstation machine and change the port number if you changed it during installation. Click on Add and you'll know that it works because the ZVX will be highlighted green and this could take a couple of minutes. Okay, our workstation is showing as online. So let's come over here to monitoring latest data and let's just pull up our workstation machine and see what kind of information we're getting. Whoops. And it's gonna take a couple of minutes for all of this information to populate. So once it does, I'll be right back. Now that our information has populated, you can see that we're getting a lot of information coming in from our Windows machine. We can see our CPU utilization, our operating system information, memory. We can even come down here and if we look on our second page, all of our services that are running will tell us whether they're running or not running. So if we have a critical service that has to be running, we can actually set up a trigger that will send an alert if that service goes down. That's how to that's how to monitor a device using the Zabbix network agents. Now we're going to switch over to SNMP. This is where Zabbix really shines and where most people are probably going to be getting all of their information from. So I'm going to go ahead and monitor my firewall using SNMP. Now Zabbix has several built-in templates. Unfortunately, the FortiGate is not one of them. So this means that you either have to build your own or you can use a community created template, which is what I'm doing. So first we're going to come back over to our data collections, we're going to go to host, and then create host. I'm going to give it a name and call it firewall. I'm going to select the template, which is going to be under my templates, and then under FortiGate. Give it a host group, in this case firewalls, and then we're going to click on add. In this case we're going to be using SNMP. And I'm going to be using version 2. So we want to give the IP address of our firewall. Uh, the port is going to be default. And our community name is going to be public. If you're going to use SNMP version 3, then you will need to go ahead and, and include your uh, encryption method as well as your username and password. In my case, uh, this is all being sent in the clear. So let's go ahead and hit add. And then once again, we will know that this worked if the SNMP highlights green. Okay, our SNMP is showing green. So we're gonna come back over here to monitoring latest data. We're gonna get rid of that and switch it over to our firewall. And hit apply. And then let's see if we're getting data. And we are. Now, because this is a community created template, there may be some information that you want that isn't here. One of the great things about Zabbix is that you can either create your own or you can actually just go in and edit the current templates to get the information that you're looking for. But in this case, we have a lot of uh, useful information about our interfaces, our CPU utilization, RAM, uh, pretty much anything that we're going to need for our basic monitoring of our firewall. 
And that's how you set up a device using SNMP. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to monitor a device through ICMP, so basically ping. Uh, in this case, what we're going to do is we're just going to send a constant ping to a device. If the device is up, then we're good. If it goes down, then we will get an alert. So let's go ahead and get that set up. We're gonna come back over to our data collection and we're gonna go over to host and then create host. So I'm going to send the ping out to a virtual machine. So I'm just going to call this VM-Windows. In this case, our template, we're going to get rid of this, and it's going to be under Networking and then ICMP. Our host group, uh, we'll just call this virtual machine again, and then we're going to click Add. Even though we're using SNM or using ping, we are going to select the agent, and then we're going to select the IP address. In this case, it's 10.1.1.6. We're going to hit OK. Now, unlike before, you will not get any type of indicator that your ping is successful on this screen. So in order to monitor this and to make sure that it's working, we need to come back over to our monitoring and our latest data. We're going to select our virtual machines and the VM windows and apply. Now you'll see here we only have three options, ICMP loss, ICMP ping, and ICMP response time. So this is going to take a few minutes for it to actually populate, but if we've done everything right, it should actually show us this information. Okay, you can see that now that our machine is showing up at a ping of 0.88 milliseconds, uh, we have 0% uh, ICMP loss, and then um, as time goes on, we can actually look at a graph and see how long it's been up versus how long it goes down. I'm going to go ahead and shut down the virtual machine that this is running on. And after 60 seconds, which is when this um, pings, then we should show that this is no longer up. Okay, we've got a few seconds left. So we're going to wait and refresh this. And we should show that it is showing down with a 100% uh, loss. There we go. So our ping is now no longer responding. And that is how you monitor a device using Zabbix. You can either use the Zabbix agent, SNMP, or just a flat out ping. If you like this video, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you have a comment, go ahead and leave it below and I'll catch you on the next one.